Okay, hello guys. Welcome back to episode 3. Is it? Yeah, I think so. Episode 3 of the Living Story. Oh my god, I'm lost. Living World Season 3. And now we're gonna be continuing our episode. When Once I found out, find out how to leave this place, maybe through this here. Yeah, exactly. It does the job. Alright, so we were on the Blood and Stone one mission. And we have to yeah, explore a bit of the map and get to a few of these zones. One, two. Yeah. This, uh, there's this tree. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I know. Yesterday I fell and all of suddenly I did this one, but it's just like. You go down and somehow it. I wonder what are these things, and uh, yeah, somehow it just explored it. But yeah, it's nothing. Just come here and you will get it. Search in your right cave for survivors. I don't know why how I, how I did this anyway. I didn't do anything. I didn't even come this far. So let's just get to the other three points. Scout the floating or oh, nope. Okay, let's get to this one, it's closer. Search the surface for survivors. Oh shit, this is like bloodstone elementals. White mantle, but they're different. The magic is Where? Mine. Oh. Be ready to run. This is like white mantle on drugs. On steroids, more likely. Okay, let's get to the other one. There's not much in here. I think we have to get up. Is it on the on that tile and above? I think so. Rift entrance. Can we enter it? Uh, what the hell? Where are we going? Okay, we are on top of an island or something. Okay, look. A scrap of paper. What is this? One more thing for my okay, looks like this is tied to achievement, so pick those scraps of paper. Okay, this appears to be a journal scrap dated 45 Phoenix, 1327 after the exodus. The after the exodus means after the gods left the world of Tyria, basically. And it says, Inquisitor Mate Matthias Gabriel has volunteered for the Bloodstone Important Procedure. His piety and courage are both inspiring, inspiring and ideal qualities for this great work. Specially prepared shards of the stone will be used. Please find diagrams of the intended arrangement attached. Attached. He will travel north to the keep on the morrow and will perform the procedure once preparations are complete. So this is talking. It's telling that he will be going to the place where we basically killed him on the raid. And do they experiment with a bloodstone, try to infuse it with power off from the guy he was sacrificing over there, and etc. We haven't yet found a key to harvesting magic from the shards. This is missing piece of the puzzle. My only regret is that I won't be there to oversee the experiment, but my place is here with the bloodstone. Okay, who is saying this? I don't know. Okay, where do we have to go? Okay, it's down somewhere around here. What are what is this? What is written over there? It's probably Crichton, or I don't know. What the hell? I'm getting damaged. A large chunk of the bloodstone still intact, and these foul things. This bloodstone must have been larger than anyone imagined. What could have caused it oh, to explode? Oh, is it a symbol of the bloodstone? Fairly deadly blast. Okay, looks like we got another scrap of paper. This appears to be a journal dated 60 Phoenix 1325. Aside from its primary purpose as a repository of magic, there are measurable phenomena that occur in proximity to the bloodstone. The spirits of those killed on the stone are held within its energy field, unable to depart. In history, these souls were forced into auxiliary storage device by our ancestors. But it was for the Bloodstone's magic that the generations fought wars to determine, determine who would control it. 
Even the Chosen could not stay away. Once freed from their prison at the door of Kamali, many seem to have returned. They have been seen hunting near the Bloodstone. Oh, really? This is interesting. This is messing with stuff related to the door of Kamali. Because he's talking about the Chosen. Alright, where's the next one? Over there. The floating citadel. This is not... Uh, no, no. Is it up or down? It's up. We need to catch uh, an updraft. Maybe this one over here. Oh, there's a mushroom. Let's take it. I don't know where it's gonna take us. But somewhere up, hopefully, yeah. Now we take this one. And this one, yeah, it's on the, it's over there. My god, FPS are dying, oh shit. <laughs> I wonder why the bloodstone exploded, really. No idea. Not enough energy. Run. We will kill some if we... They are still bothering us up here. Holy shit. Finally I can rest. Oh, we didn't kill him, we basically released it from its prison basically. The blast must have released the oh, spirits shit. of the victims sacrificed on the bloodstone. <laughs> Years of imprisonment twisted their minds. Oh my they god. No friend from the heck? The damage, the man. There's so many. Holy fuck. Kill this one fast. Come on, come on. Oh. Ah, we managed. Because they are veterans. They are eating hard as hell. Continue your search for survivors. Oh the shit, they're gonna get out of here. Run, run. Okay, where do we have to go? It's done. Oh shit, get out of there. Mobs are actually tough. But they were they were still veteran, but still. They they were eating hard. Okay, this is new. We have like Unsave a magic volley. Visit not to insult keepers at airship in order to unlock this skill. Okay, yeah, it's actually this one. Looks like we have abilities for gliding now. So it's new, like gliding, combat while gliding. I didn't know about this. This is very interesting, depending on how they have implemented it. Okay, this is the guy when he appears. Refreshing. Here. Squad leader Bennett. So this is a guy that we, if I'm not wrong, rescued from from Matthias Gabriel. He was be he was being held on a cage, and he was probably going to be sacrificed for the Bloodstone. Probably I don't know, but I I've think I've never so. seen an explosion collapse on itself like. That. Maybe it says something That's on the right. I don't remember. from my face, and then it suddenly shot into the ground. You think a dragon was responsible? I'm not sure yet. That's what I'm here to investigate. I want to get into that crater and find out why the blast reversed and where the magic went. Easier said than done. The area is swarming with white mantle. We sent a patrol, but only one soldier made it back and she's, uh, not well. What's wrong with her? She was hit with magic unlike any we've seen. On the outside, she's fine, but it twisted her inside something fierce. She can barely move. She's been raving about floating purple stone monsters ever since she got back. Stone creatures? That rings a white metal bell. Can you reach the Priory and see what they know about them? Sure thing, Commander. Have you seen Kanak? Who? He's a Silvari. Tough, but well-spoken. Medium build, a bit cranky. Can't say that I have. But I did see Kate run through here like a centaur on fire. She wouldn't stop for anything. Just hauled tail through the war zone and was gone like that. Thank you. 
I'll let the general know you're down here. I'm afraid to close my eyes. All right. Inside my head. Inside we know me. something about stone creatures. Are these like jade constructs? Hmm. We'll find out. Share your findings with General Soulkeeper. He yeah, still has text. Okay, recap the white. Oh crap. Go away. What's happening in the Forsaken Thicket? What are you doing? Okay. Tell oh. me what happened to your squad. Oh the yeah, this is exactly Rico. what I was, found found at the was talking about. Brinks, camp. The plan was to scout the area at dawn, so we turned in. Everything went to torment in a town cart. There was an explosion, then screams. I grabbed my gear and ran out of the tent. Saw one of my men lit up like a winter's day bonfire. Sabatha and her lackeys torched everything, laughing as they went. And then blackness i woke up with a splitting headache caged like a dog kept my mouth shut and just watched them after a few days i told them i was ready to talk said i'd cooperate in exchange for the safety of my troops told them they could use me for hard labor or experimentation didn't Sir, matter this is the second near-death experience you've had in a very short while i was taken deeper inside thrown in a pen with some others they deprived us of food and water. Let their dogs snarl at our cages. At night, we heard the other prisoners begging for their lives before being cut open. The sky would light up and I would hear chanting over and over. I'm sorry, Commander. It this is started. awesome. It's like, this is all, it was really, really good. He was like really describing very well. You could actually picture the image of him passing through all these situations. This is like the improvement I was talking about. I can see it through comparing it to Art of Thorns. It's really better. Okay, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? After you rescued me, I notified the Queen about Salvation Pass. Then I regrouped with my squad and chased some white mantle here. So you were here for the blast? Craziest thing. It exploded, then imploded. Like when you're a kid and you dangle spit from your mouth, then suck it back in. I never did that. <laughs> well, sure, me neither. But you know what I mean. When the explosion reversed, it... It was like it pulled at my soul. Hmm. Alright, how have you been since Salvation Pass? So I say it again. We basically rescued him from the last raid boss on Salvation Path Wing. How have you been since Salvation Pass? I've been thanking Duena you busted me out of that infernal place. If not for you, I'd be rotting in a ditch. Close my eyes at night. I can still hear the screams. Men, women, they spared no one. I lost count. Anyway. I made my way back to Falgir's camp and rejoined the squad. Saw the field medic and got checked out. Then we sent word to Queen Jenna about everything. Gave her and the Shining Blade as much information as we could. The Pact offered to put me on leave, but I turned it down. No way I'm giving these murderers a break. So we pursued a lead on White Mantle movement and tracked the pigs up here. Look what they've done to the place. It's shameful. Okay, let's see what this one have to say. Hmm. Okay, nothing up, just a little. Nothing there, gone, Commander. Okay. Let's get to share your findings. Where do you have to go now? I don't see Almora anywhere. Is she on the visual? Nope. Any improvements? She's stable. Well, physically stable at least. And mentally? 
This magic is unlike anything I've seen. It's deliberately tuned to cause a lot of suffering. Let's hunt down the stone man. I don't. Oh, oh, I see. It's over there. Okay, so we have to go somehow up again. Maybe there is nothing here. So should we? Yeah, let's take the the waypoint. Okay, we're back up. Okay, where? Uh, that's that. Oh yeah, she's on the airship. I didn't notice it. Is it as bad as it looks down there? It is. It's not good. White Mantle hit in the blast are mad with hunger for magical energy. They gather any scrap they can find. The White Mantle? Could they have done this? And to what end? I don't know. Maybe it was an experiment gone wrong. Maybe it was supposed to empower all of them and it went awry. Whoever it was, we owe them our gratitude. That blast would have hit Lion's Arch. And they just rebuilt the <laughs> I'd hold off on the thanks until we know what their motive is. There's a pack squad down there. They've already established a camp and are trying to get a foothold in the area. That's what I'd like to hear. Well, it's not all good news. Some other pack members were also caught in the blast. Just what the pack didn't need. More dead soldiers. They're not dead, but they've been twisted by bloodstone magic, just like the White Mantle. Reporting. They don't deserve We're that. Steady. They deserve peace. I understand. I'd want the same if the roles were reversed. Thank you, Commander. Continued investigation. All right, it's we finished the episode, and I would like to. Okay, nice. Not the inventory wasn't full. I'd like to point something out from this last moment talking to Almora. Because she, she said that uh, they don't deserve that, they deserve peace. And that's actually interesting for her to say because of her past. She she formed a visual after her warband was corrupted by uh, Krakatoric. And it's like the same situation over here. Black soldiers or Vigil, uh, not Vigil, but uh, Seraph and Shining Blade or whatever. If they are corrupted, it's like the same situation, and she shows us her that she doesn't feel well about that, and she acknowledges that they don't deserve such an ending because she she saw that's happening to her friends in the past, and that's yeah, that's cool of her to say that, and we can actually make a connection with her past, so it's it's these little things that uh, improve the story a lot, in my opinion. And well, yeah, this is the episode, it was kind of a short one, but I will be continuing you really, really, really shortly on the next one, obviously, so I hope you enjoyed. If you couldn't and you would like to watch more episodes, just stick to my channel, because I will be doing the old playthrough for the, for the story. Okay, guys, thanks for watching and bye.